This is the control tower. Make a left turn over. <laughs> Force is a quiet treasure. While it initially appears to just be a flashy expansion of Zebus's bomb gimmick, Rayforce uses it to tell an entirely visual story that works within the limits of the format and jump. Impressively, it also expands the visual space while having the player only operate across a 2D axis. To do this, Rayforce plays to its two strengths, scale and depth. Both of these are born out of Rayforce's technological ambitions. It uses a large number of sprites it can display to create a sense of wide-ranging conflict. Large groups of enemies populate the screen, attacking from below or fighting with each other. Detailed, dense backgrounds provide a sense of proportion. This is combined with sprite scaling technology to create a virtual Z-axis, deepening the visual space. Enemy structures and boss parts below you can be locked onto, and the delayed impact time communicates the distance. The materiality of these spaces below are emphasized, allowing you to disconnect platforms from their supports, or even defeat a boss by knocking out its hold on the stage. And while most shooters are satisfied with two or three layers of parallax, Rayforce has several, which enemies and obstacles continually move in and out of and can be tracked by your lasers through. While games frequently signal enemy approaches in the background, they rarely acknowledge the transitional spaces between the two planes. Here, targets sweep up towards you, allowing you to methodically lock onto and eliminate them before they become immediate dangers. Locking onto large groups is even formally rewarded, providing the best opportunities for scoring and keeping you engaged with the spaces below. The upward sweep of enemies also works in parallel to other axes of motion. The wide camera sweeps past the moon that draw attention to the earth, into the hollowed out moon, towards the conflict above earth, and through the atmosphere to your dive into the earth itself. What you may have noticed here is that Rayforce constantly hints at the locations that are next. In addition, it transitions seamlessly between them. There are no fades to black or generic star fields between stages, but one continuous descent. It emphasizes the depths of space that exist beyond your current surroundings. It's a journey from foreign parts back to Earth. A homecoming of sorts. But there's an anxiety to your journey. As you approach Earth, you witness a battle in which your allies, communicated by your inability to lock onto them, are wiped out by the enemy fleet. As you descend, you begin to catch glimpses of something below the surface. And when you pass the final ground base, the ground itself opens up. Past this deep fissure is a hollowed out earth populated by a mess of towers and highways, leading you into a long tunnel that finally gives way to a grand megapolis beneath the earth. You follow its curved surface to the tower at the center, where you'll defeat a guardian and reveal the machine core of the planet itself. You lock on, and with a final shot you destroy it, taking the earth with it, and dooming yourself. Mission complete. For context, let's rewind to get some backstory. Taken from its is prequel, Ray Crisis, as well as some of the literature that comes with the game. Before the events of the game, humanity has created an AI called a Con Human to govern Earth. But when a cloned human's mind is linked with the system, it becomes sentient and loses its reason. It creates calamities, wipes out organic life, 
and hollows out the earth to create a body that functions as a mobile fortress. And this is where the story begins. With you as the pilot of a desperate mission to save what's left of humanity. This context helps lend emotional weight to your journey. Here, the genre convention of a lone ship as the last defense becomes something different. You become the malicious invader, a foreign element in the body of what used to be your home, a place that's become hostile and alien because of the con human's reconfiguration. As you approach, your fleet is destroyed, taking humanity one step closer to extinction. Your actions become vindictive. You're willing to destroy what was once your home in order to enact revenge on the being that killed your people. You are willing to die for its destruction. But even without this context, Rayforce manages to communicate a strong narrative. The opening scenes and visual motifs of Descent work alongside a soundtrack by Taito house band Zuntada that moves between energetic melodies, anxious themes, and contemplative respites. The final moments solidify it, with the post credits scene leaving you on a somber note. Rayforce is a strong game that takes what could have simply been an impressive technological gimmick and builds a complementary narrative around it. It's a visual and thematic success, a continuous and cohesive space, a good place to take a bullet down.